Hey YouTube, in this video we're gonna go ahead and review the Blitzwolf smartwatch. This is the GV18 Pro Blitzwolf smartwatch. And so far it's a really nice watch. And if you're interested in purchasing it, link to buy it is in the description. So I got this watch from banggood.com. And I have to say it's amazing and the price that it goes for is just shocking how cheap it is. Like it's probably one of the best cheapest smartwatch available on the market so stay tuned for why it's the best So yeah, this is the Blitzwolf GV18 Pro smartwatch. Let's go ahead and do a quick overview of it. So we've got the 1.54 inch 240 by 240 pixel screen on the top over here. I love the way the black bezel matches with the sides. And also it's quite fingerprint magnet, but that's just a screen protector. We've got 1.3 megapixel on the camera, a microphone soft rubber all around you got the um, speaker on the bottom now I'm having problems a few problems with this speaker like sound quality isn't great so don't expect it to be amazing I mean it does make like this screechy rumbling sort of sound sometimes but I have found a solution to that you just put the volume down a little bit and it will sort out so you've got the soft rubber all of the sound I will show you an example of that the, mo the speakers so on the back case over here we got the micro sim card slot and also an SD card slot of up to 32 gigabytes of memory. So before we go power it on let me go ahead and grab my phone. Just want to grab my phone and use that to connect. So yeah let's go ahead and power on the watch now. Just hold the power button for about 5 seconds and it should power on. So. Actually, before I power it on, let me put it on. So it's quite hard to put it on actually in front of the camera. So let me just quickly, yeah, there you go. I've done it. I put it on. So here is actually a really nice size watch. Uh, it's not too bulky. It's about a normal standard size watch. It's about the same size of a G-Shock, really. So now let's go ahead and power it on. And you'll hear the sound as soon as it powers on. No, I'm not sure if you heard that, but it was like rumbling a bit, like the bass was too high kind of thing. So inside we've got the micro USB port and also the unlock and lock button and also the power on and power off button. And actually that button is also a back button, so... <laughs> It's kind of used as like loads of buttons all in one. So on the home screen we've got the contacts and also the calling keypad. So you can put your own SIM card in there or you can connect through Bluetooth. So it's, it's actually quite hard to use the watch behind the camera but the touch screen is actually not too bad especially when you're using it like normally. But in some cases, such as the keyboard or when you're typing, it is quite annoying. So let's just go through the apps here. I'm just quickly running through some of the apps. So we've got Remote Capture, which is basically capturing like live video from your camera. Remote Notifier is basically getting notifications from your watch, such as WhatsApp and Facebook messages. Uh, we've got Pedometer. Basically, it's pretty accurate pedometer actually. Uh, sleep monitor, sedentary reminder, quick response is uh, you basically have a QR scanner on your phone. If you don't have one, you can download the app and just scan your phone on the QR code and you can download the Bluetooth notification app, which is only for Android. But I had problems with this app, so I downloaded my own version of an APK from online. I will link that version down below if you want to download that. Because the one that came with the watch actually didn't work very well. We've got smart search, alarm, 
calendar and calculator, profiles, file manager, audio player, and themes. Audio player, you can play songs straight from your memory card or from your phone through Bluetooth. So we've got three themes here. That's the black and white type of theme. We've got a tile type of theme. And this is my favorite theme. It's like a pattern behind it. We've got the camera, which is obviously the 1.3 megapixel camera. It's OK camera. I mean, I'm not sure most people would usually use the camera on the watch anyway. But again, I like the idea that you can zoom on the camera, even on the video camera over here. You can zoom in and zoom out, which is actually pretty cool. We've got the image viewer. So here's the image I took before. You can view it. You can also put images from your SD card on it. So it obviously stores it on its internal memory. Now it doesn't have much internal memory, so I would advise people to use an SD card if you're going to have loads of images. So also got sound recorder, browser, and SIM toolkit. Now the browser can only be used through mobile data on the SIM card that's inside the watch. It does not work through Wi-Fi. So uh, let's go ahead and connect the phone to the watch. Now I think. I was playing around with the Bluetooth settings and I turned off the phone calling feature. So we're going to need to turn that on. But yeah, we found the watch. Um, actually, I don't think Bluetooth is on on the smartwatch. So let's go ahead and turn the Bluetooth on the smartwatch. Before we do that, let's look at the clock faces. Actually, we've got three clock faces on here. One, two, and three. Now. Personally, I don't really like these clock faces, but they're okay, I guess. We've also got a notification bar. If you slide down from the top to the bottom, this is where you get the notifications. And if you click on ongoing, you get like a quick like toolbar type of thing. Where you can increase and decrease the brightness like I'm doing right now. You turn on and turn off airplane mode. Turn on and turn off Bluetooth. And you can also mute and unmute the watch. So yeah, about the clock faces, uh, the only annoying thing is you can't really change the clock faces. So you're going to have to stick with them. So as you can see, it says connected no phone. Because I've turned off the phone feature. But you can sort that out on your settings. You can turn it on and off. But when you ready connect it, when you're first starting, every, everything will connect. The media, the phone. But I turned the phone off. So I'm just going to turn it on after. And then we could do a call test. So those notifications that you saw were from the app where I got from the QR code and they basically notifications, every notification you get on your phone will come up on the watch. So yeah, like I said, I had problems with the app with this QR code. So I got my own version of the app online and I will link that app in the description. So this is the pedometer, obviously it doesn't work if you shake it. But when you naturally are using it and you're actually walking, it is pretty accurate, I have to say. So it's actually really good that a watch like this comes with a pedometer and it comes in use, actually. Let's go ahead and look through the sleep monitor, actually. There, so that's basically... Um, tracking how well you slept and it will tell you whether it was a general sleep, good sleep, poor sleep and sedentary reminder is basically a timer let's go through some of the basic settings so this is a smartwatch a very cheap smartwatch and it has basically the basic features that a watch needs but this one uh, the Blitzwolf GV80 Pro has motion sensors so if you're an incoming call, if you just flip the watch, it will mute it. An alarm, just flip the watch and it will mute it. Now, I don't know if this will kill the battery or not. It must use a little bit of battery, obviously. But it doesn't use that much because even then, the battery for me lasts about two hours. With the Bluetooth on and with the motion features on. So here I'm showing you the different transitions that come with the watch. You get various transitions. So, um... My favourite is the one that's called the ball and it just looks really interesting actually so I like to keep that one. 
it's cool that you can customize this watch with themes and transitions. So here are the languages that it come with. What else can we do? We got the timeout screen. We can choose which clock we want to use when we unlock the phone. Go and select annual clock one. So whenever I unlock the phone, that clock will come up. We can increase and decrease the brightness straight from the settings. And the rest are just basic connectivity and notification settings. So what's uh, this anti-loss thing? So basically if you've lost the watch, you can basically ring an alarm from your phone on the watch and it will basically ring saying you found the watch. Now I don't really get this feature. It's not like you're going to lose the watch anyway. It's going to be on your wrist and the phone and the watch are going to be close to each other anyway. But again, it's nice to have. So this is the remote notification, remote capture feature actually, and it's basically the camera on your phone going live on the watch. So everything you do with the camera on the phone, it will come up live on the watch with about a second delay, and you can take pictures on the watch straight from the camera on the phone. Now, where do these pictures save? These pictures will save on the phone, not on the watch. So uh, I actually really like this watch personally, it's a really nice watch. There are some downsides but there's always downsides on things like this. But it's the good thing about this, there's more upsides about this watch and that's what I really like about it. I mean the price is amazing and some of the features on this you just wouldn't expect it to be in a watch this cheap. I would probably say this is one of the best cheap watches available currently on the market. So this is the Bluetooth notification, Bluetooth music app. So I, it's not working for me right now because I changed the music player on my phone. So I've got about three music players, I think. So it's kind of confused which one to play from. But if you just have a normal standard music player, it will play from there. So right now it's playing a random music because I was trying out a new music player. So it's playing it from there. But yeah, it's quite good actually that you can get straight from Bluetooth you can play music straight on the watch and you can also play your own music from the memory card inside the watch and it's actually pretty loud as well so again if you get that rumbling echoey effect from the speakers just put the volume down and that would be sorted out so even YouTube videos if you play a YouTube video the sound of the video will come out on the watch Let's, let me skip this advert. There you go, the sound is coming out of the watch. And you also get this annoying notification saying that YouTube video playing, YouTube video playing, and it's quite annoying actually, it doesn't go away. Even when you close it, it keeps on constantly popping up. But you can obviously turn that off from the settings on your phone through the Bluetooth notification app. You can just turn the settings off and turn off notifications from YouTube. So as you can hear there, that's the little rumbling noise. If you put the volume down, that noise will go away. But it can get quite annoying, especially if you're trying to actually truly listen to something and it just does that noise. You just have to put the volume down and it will get sorted out. And I don't know if it's just my watch that does that or if all the other models do it as well. But that's what I'm featuring anyway that's what's happening with mine but it's not a big issue you can always just put the volume down and it will get sorted out so it's just that speaker problem really that it's the big problem so let's go ahead and show you some of the features here just randomly so obviously if you take pictures and stuff it will save into the internal memory but you can also save on an SD card change the profile some silent meetings it's basically got the basic features of what a simple phone would have you know it's not like a smartphone like where you get Wi-Fi 
where you can download various apps it's not like that it comes with stuff already installed and you just have to use that it's also annoying actually behind the camera it's quite annoying to type but when I'm actually typing not behind the camera it's actually quite easy so let's go ahead and do a test call here so look Bluetooth call isn't working because I turned it off from the phone I turned off phone calls from the phone so you can go ahead and turn that on yeah. and just uh, quickly turn that on no, right, so I turned it on and here is the phone call quality I want this on speaker as you can hear bumbling sound again oops I accidentally hanged up that's another annoying thing with smartwatches the screen and sometimes the keys are quite small so when you are using the phone you can accidentally hang up sometimes as well so let's just call it again so yeah this speaker issue it can get sorted out you just put the volume down and it, even then the speakers are actually really loud and even if you put the volume down it's still quite a loud speaker and you can still hear everything so when it's down about there it doesn't really do it that much so as soon as you put it up, it starts making the rumbling type of noise. So also another problem with this watch was the distance, the Bluetooth distance. It only works about 5 meters I think. I was listening to a song and I moved about 5 meters away with my phone from the watch. And it just started cutting out and disconnecting. So that's the only, another downside which was the Bluetooth features and that's so far the only downsides I mean this watch is really nice and I've used it for a good few days the battery is really 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 nice on this watch and look at the processor it's super fast I'm tapping it so fast and it's keeping up it's not slowing down it's not lagging it's not turning off and like I said the battery is really nice it lasted about two days easy two days the battery lasts and obviously heavy usage the battery will last about one and a half days so yeah this watch is really nice and I like to give an overall score of 8 out of 10 it's a branded watch by Blitzwolf Blitzwolf is a big company especially in Banggood and they really make high quality products I mean this watch is really high quality the only issue was the Bluetooth connections only five meters and the speaker obviously makes the rumbling noise but they're not really big issues not like I'm going to walk away from the watch anyway I mean the phone's gonna be in my pocket and the watch is gonna be on my wrist all the time anyway so yeah I actually really like this watch I think it's a great watch uh, link to buy is in the description again even if you're interested I just want to check it out do click that link and the build quality of the watch is actually really nice as well I mean got a nice chrome finish on the top soft rubber on the bottom we've got NFC chip now NFC chips they're quite hard to find on smartwatches so it's quite cool that this has an NFC chip and someone asked me what does the NFC chip do you cannot pay with NFC chip you can only connect your phone quicker so you don't have to turn on the Bluetooth on the phone turn it on, on the watch and connect you just basically touch both of the devices together and it should connect now I've tried that feature and it does connect but again I don't really use it that much anyway but it's nice to have and overall it's a really nice watch and I truly I can't complain with the price it's an amazing watch and if you're interested in buying it as your first smartwatch or even just a smartwatch that you want or even want to use it's a great idea to give this some consideration and even try buying it so the link will be down below in the description and don't forget to comment like and subscribe